And there's also concerns about safety for runners as well this noon. In the headlines once again after a Georgia nursing student was murdered while out jogging. ABC's Faith Abube here with how to protect yourself when you're out running alone. The shocking death of a nursing student killed while jogging on a wooded trail at the University of Georgia, raising new concerns about women's safety. The incident, just the latest in targeted attacks against women exercising alone. As a woman, do you feel more vulnerable in certain situations? Yes, all of the time. I feel vulnerable walking. I feel vulnerable even in the car. The murder of 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts making national headlines in 2018 after she was abducted and killed while jogging in her Iowa hometown. Just two months later, another woman, 35-year-old Wendy Karina Martinez, fatally stabbed multiple times while out running in Washington, D.C. This is protecting her face. Some women are now taking control of their own safety by signing up for self-defense classes. Sadly, not until you're in that situation that you realize, oh, I'm not equipped for this. The instructor also teaching us some of the potentially life-saving techniques. Move your hips, smash the door. Nelson Neo says if you have to fight back during an attack, focus on the center of the attacker's body. Imagine three red buttons, the eyes and the nose, the throat, and the groin. So if you hit someone, you always hit the center. Experts also stress being aware of your surroundings at all times. Avoid tuning out the world with headphones. Recruit a friend and prioritize open and populated areas. And if all else fails, scream as loud as you can to scare a would-be attacker. Katerina Oshbauer telling us she signed up for this class to feel more empowered after she escaped an attempted assault years ago while overseas. What do you hope to get out of this class? I hope I remember some of the moves. <laughs> Hopefully you never get in a situation that you need it, but exactly. if you do. And while these tips and classes can save your life, bottom line, it's better to limit your risk in the first place rather than trying to fight through a dangerous situation. Safety experts say always trust your gut. If an area doesn't feel safe, avoid it. And for women who prefer running at night or early in the morning, it's probably best to join a local running group. Faith Abube, ABC News, Los Angeles.